Hey there and welcome to Hoo-Ha Sports Today. This episode we will look at the other side of sports and the two we will be featuring are tennis and of course football. Amid all the transfer news, what are the players up to? We'll bring you what of some of these players have been tweeting. But let's talk tennis first. The Aegon International Men's Event at Queen's is one of a couple of warm-up tournaments ahead of Wimbledon next week. And after Sunday's postponed final due to rain, the match was played yesterday with all of the 6,800 858 ticket holders who were left disappointed the day before came back and filled Queen's Club centre court and witness Andy Murray crawl back from a set down to beat Joe Wilfred Songa in 3-6, 7-6 and 6-4. And Murray gave the capacity crowd a trick as a treat when he returned Songa's outstretched backhand with a cheeky under the leg drop shot and nails it for the points. But here's a fun fact for you, Murray is the first Briton to win the tournament more than once since Francis Gordon Lowe way back in 1913, 1914 and 1925. But the interesting fact is that only two other men who have won the tournament on Monday at Queen's, Boris Becker in 1987 and John McEnroe in 1979, went on to lose early at Wimbledon. Even if you're not superstitious, you'll be watching to see what happens to Murray in the early rounds, won't you? So since there was no match to play on Sunday, what were Songa and Murray up to? Well, they had a game of ping pong. Since they were kept indoors waiting for the rain to abate, the two finalists got down to some table tennis. Maybe they just wanted to loosen up the joints or possibly give the journalists something to feature. After all, they were there for tennis. And those images are courtesy of Aegon Championships. And uh, that's just not what these tennis players get up to. It has become a ritual during every French Open Championships, in recent times at least, that the players will entertain two French guys by subjecting themselves to a karaoke feature every year. Take a look at this one from 2010 featuring Songa, Murray and Soderling as he revives a Swedish supergroup. I got a feeling Tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good, good So then it looks like he can pull it off as an ABBA stand-in, but he shouldn't sing, really. So now let's find out what the footballers are up to with and with a Twitter feeds these days. Everybody who's on it wants you to know uh, what they are thinking, what they are feeling, where they are going, who they are hanging out with, and etc, etc, etc. But it also tells you a little bit about who they are if you want to speculate by reading between the lines. Let's start with Wayne Rooney. The boy has been spending time with his kid and he posted, just watching Finding Nemo with Kai. Didn't realize how good kids' films are. Really, Wayne? Finding Nemo came out in 2003. Okay, maybe Kai wasn't born and you were, what, only 10 years old back then? Well, in fact, he was 17 and still at Everton. It was only the following year did he go to United. And that brings us to United player who went the other way, Phil Neville. Well, he has found football longevity at the Merseyside Club. And in life, as Neville posted, did yoga with the Barbados yoga teacher. Talk about chilled. Well, I guess yoga is a great way to take your mind off things, especially when your club makes you put on a pink jersey. And no, Neville, pink is not your colour. Elsewhere, Liverpool's Ryan Bubble, who has moved to Hoffenheim, owns a helicopter. But he is still keeping it despite moving to Germany. And news of that has made him send out a tweet saying, a lot of players message if they can borrow my helicopter for the transfer deadline. LMAO. Where did you get one in the first place, Ryan, for a quick getaway from Anfield? 
Meanwhile, Unitas Rio Ferdinand is the quintessential party boy, but he has a vision of what he would like for himself during retirement. He tweets that he wants to follow every Formula One race around the world. But I guess his original plan of a decent time out with his friends must have gone overboard. And after finding a new love for kiddie movies, Wayne Rooney rolled out the red carpet, Twitter style of course, and welcomed United's first signing in the offseason as they finally laid claim to Blackburn's Phil Jones. Rooney posted a simple, welcome to Man United, Phil Jones, looking forward to playing with you. Yes, all that hoopla and hoo-ha about Liverpool revising their bed and the fee could be ballooning up to £25 million were just to get the buzz surrounding Jones' arrival at Old Trafford. And he joins them for the initial reported sum of £16.5 million. Okay, that's plenty for today and I will catch up with you tomorrow. So on behalf of the team, I'm Patrick Singh. Thanks for logging on and it's bye for now.